Today, we're gonna try something a little different. We are going to multi-cam unbox this hardware wallet, the Keystone 3 Pro. Super excited to do this. Uh, they actually sent me this wallet to test out and report back on. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video is take a look at this wallet. So if you're not familiar, this is gonna be compatible with Ledger, with Trezor, all the other hardware wallets out there. There's something really special in this box that you'll see when I open it. And just a quick background, I won't go too much into it because of course I wouldn't wanna just endorse any wallet. Uh, there are very reputable sources out there that have given credit to Keystone. MetaMask referred to them as the only wallet interface at the time and they reposted it saying that they can interface between MetaMask browser and MetaMask mobile. There's also major security experts out there. You're probably familiar with OX Quit. actually did his own post about this and a couple of other security influencers. So all that being said, uh, this is going to be more of a product review. I'm not saying go out and buy this, but if you like it, you can tell from this video and uh, we're gonna set the entire thing up on this video. So you're probably wondering why the Tomahawk, I just wanted to cut it with, you know, a little, little extra safety because that's what we're doing around here is we're being safe. Uh, at least I'm not just going to chunk it at it or anything like that. Or maybe I should just kind of really test the uh, the security there to see how it is. So the Tomahawk might have been a little overkill, but that's okay. I still haven't looked at it yet. I'm really excited about this because I've been waiting for this for a while. They did send it to me probably around uh, the holiday season, like around Christmas. But I've just been so busy, I haven't actually been able to open it and start using it yet. Um, I'm going to go over a lot of the hardware features as we're looking at it. But uh, here it is, and I'm so excited. Check this out. This thing has a screen too. I know you can see that clearly. Check out the ninja on the background too. How sick is that? Let me make sure there's no information on that. Now we're good. Just says Keystone wallet and then shows, you know, what, what little information on there for the product and manufacturer. So uh, yeah, well, one, it just looks really cool. Uh, of course, it's got a screen. We're going to look at that later in the video. We're going to look at some of the features here. And first and foremost, we got to get it set up. Uh, it looks like it's a USB-C. Uh, we'll go over, as it's installing, I'll talk about some of the, the, the highlights that they have on the back of their box. We are already booting up, and uh, you can see the screen. It's pretty beautiful. It's huge, too, for a hardware wallet. Actually, none of my hardware wallets I'm currently using have anywhere close to the size of screen. It's just asking if I'd like to connect to the device. Going to approve that. And select language. I guess I can do that right here. Going to select my language going to go with English. So I'm not gonna show this next step because it's private, it involves QR code and scanning, but basically I'm verifying my device, so I'm gonna do that real quickly. Okay, as we're installing the firmware update, uh, we're gonna look at just the back to kind of what the product offers. So large screen, as you already saw, I mean, the screen is probably the biggest pro so far, but you know, I haven't even gotten into the wallet yet, or I haven't even gotten into the device yet. It's open source hardware, firmware, uh, has undergone rigorous audits secure element chips, multiple seed phrases support, so you can set up to three different recovery phrases, fingerprint authentication, I actually didn't know that, that's pretty cool, and a self-destruct mechanism. So this wipes the secret recovery phrase immediately upon detection of any physical tampering, okay? Air gapped mode, in addition to USB and Bluetooth, sign transactions via QR codes using mobile or phone or PC. That's really cool. So that's kind of like the tap. I actually haven't used this on any kind of device, but if I want to verify a transaction, I can just tap the physical device onto my phone uh, to verify that. It reminds me of the wallet for Bitcoin that Ryder is coming out with actually, which is one of the companies I work for, BTC Frontier Fund, one of our investments. So anyways, I downloaded the new firmware uh, that actually took a second uh, so for you it's going to be you know a millisecond for me that was that was a little bit from here I'm not going to import a wallet I'm actually going to create a new wallet and kind of see that process so I'm going to set a pin all right so I set my pin I wrote it somewhere secure and the next step is to name the wallet so you can actually pick a little icon they have bitcoin ethereum they have keystones at whatever um, I'm just going to go with this little rocket emoji and uh, this is actually going to be a Solana wallet for me because I've been needing to store my Solana somewhere safe. Uh, it's going to be a couple of others because, again, we can have three. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to put Soul Bags and go ahead and enter that and see where it prompts me. I'm not going to show this on the screen just in case it automatically prompts the seed. All right. Yeah, we're automatically back up at the standard seed phrase. So between 12, 24 seed phrase backup. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get that down. Okay, sweet. So the 24 words is absolutely brutal, but we got through it. As you can tell, you have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana immediately supported. Actually added Sol. But you can go and add XRP, Cardano, Tron, 
tons of others. Again, I'm using this primarily as a Solana wallet. So attention, this address is only for Sol. Any other digital asset can will be lost. So this is my Solana address that it just gave me. I'm not gonna scan it. I don't want you guys sending me a bunch of trash to this wallet. And uh, yeah, so from here, I can do a full like review on the actual software itself, but it seems pretty straightforward being able to send and receive assets um, under your accounts. So yeah, I have like several Solana accounts in here. I'm going to click the primary one to uh, stay on it. And I mean, it's really that easy. If I want Bitcoin, I receive Bitcoin on here. If I want Ethereum, Ethereum. And the whole point of this is if at the end of the day, my seed phrase, the 24 one I was just complaining about, never touch the internet because I had to enter it through a hardware wallet and then in a certain order. Um, so it never was like typed into my computer. That's an extra layer of safety. And then of course I have to manually approve transactions. So if I want to send something uh, or something needs to come out of my wallet, I have to get to my device like this and click send. So that's another way, way to protect yourself. So hardware wallets are definitely the way to go. They will save so many people from getting their assets strained because of that need for that physical you know, click. And um, I really like the Keystone so far. Um, I would like to see support for NFTs. I'm not too sure if it has that. If so, you know, I haven't, I don't see an availability for that right now. Um, besides that, all in all, it feels really good. It looks amazing. Uh, representing my Ninja. And uh, that's my full unboxing and product review on the Keystone 3. Um, thank you guys so much for sending it to me. There's even like a little screen protector here. I will definitely be using it for various chains. Definitely Solana again. I want a safe place to put my Solana right now uh, and somewhere different than my other assets. I kind of have a weird system going. Uh, so I'm going to put them on my Keystone. But all that being said, if you guys like this, be sure to do all those things like like, share, follow, subscribe, and there will be more like this in the future. Peace out.